Okay. I'm pretty sure everyone in this room has experienced victory. That victory is like the most thing people remember. But then comes with victory, also comes defeat. When it comes to defeat, everyone tries like to forget it. Like they don't want to remember that. There's a quote from W.I.E. Gates saying, "Victory has a hundred memories, but defeat has amnesia." To me, I see this as everyone likes victory, that self, the accomplishment. And then comes defeat, uh, I brush it away, I don't want to think about that. So what I'm talking about is how victory is a good thing, and but <coughs> comes defeat, it's also bad, but then also it's a good thing to learn from. So with victory, for me, is that I used to play sports a lot, and then I used, my favorite sport used to be baseball, and I used to, I loved it. I played it all the time until I ended up getting hurt. I ended up uh, breaking my thumb, and then it took me a very long time to recuperate from that. But then it also set me back, because I used to play all-stars, I used to do travel ball, I used to do a lot. And it really set me back a lot. But then in the long run, I ended up going my way, taking my way all the way back up to the top. And then that was also a kind of defeat for me, but I uh, learned from that defeat and just kept moving up. And then another one is was when I used to play, I played football for four years in high school, that during my senior year, I was going to be one of the starters. Uh, first day of pads, I ended up tearing a, a ligament in my knee, and that really set me back. That I didn't want to play anymore, I, didn't, I just stopped caring about playing football, but then I kind of learned from it that my teammates kind of kept me going, telling me you can do this, and keep playing, you can help us out. So I really learned from that defeat, but also comes victories in it. Like, I'm still friends with all my football player friends, so I'm kind of glad about that. Um, but from victory, you can tell always tell stories to people that you can tell anyone, oh, I won this, I got a trophy for that. But for some reason, no one wants to talk about defeats. Defeats aren't that bad. You can learn from defeats. Other people can learn from your defeats. So in summary, that victories are good in all the stories you can tell. But sometimes people don't want to talk about their defeats. But defeats aren't always bad. There's always something you can learn from. Yeah. Yes. Oh, that shut? <laughs> <laughs> it looks white. Okay, uh, just kidding. The one is already shut. <laughs> well, I shut it again. <laughs> All right, David, uh, you did some good basic things. I like the general statement that you had at the beginning is the attention device. There was a good transition to the quote. Uh, you've got a thesis statement. I, I tell you one of the problems here is that I think you are being so literal with the quote that you don't really get much of a chance to think outside of you know, just what's being said. You keep thinking about, oh, you know, how we remember the victories, you know, that sort of thing. 
I thought at the end you had a much better idea for a way to go with this, and that is that we could actually learn from our defeats. There's a lot more that we can get from that sort of thing, and that might have been a, a better way to go about talking about the speech and how you recover from the mistakes that you make, how you get better as a consequence of those kinds of defeats, how the experiences temper us for future challenges, any of those kinds of things would have been a good way to go instead of just trying to stick so closely to the topic. So I thought that you constrained yourself a little bit more than was necessary. You did have a preview, so I, I thought that uh, you know there's a little bit of a structure that's going on there. Your examples are okay, but I, they sometimes need a little bit more detail to make them more interesting. On presentation, there's nothing that is problematic in the presentation. It's not like you're doing anything that's wrong. I think that you can still Step up in a couple of places and do things a little bit better. But your 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 voice is fine. Uh, there's good variety in your voice. It flows pretty smoothly for the most part. But I think there could be more energy. For instance, I think that that wouldn't hurt you to do some of those kinds of things and be a little bit more outgoing as a consequence. Um, you, you look out at the audience. I don't always ever get the feeling that you're really connecting with the audience. It's both shh, guys. It's it's that you are you know this all goes on the videotape and so they're going to be hearing your conversation later on the videotape so this will be on YouTube your whole conversation yeah. uh, you know everybody listen to it later you know he's probably talking about you right now uh, uh, so I, I see you kind of looking out at people but not really engaging people and. and and, and trying to connect with them. And, I, and when you're telling a personal story, something that's meaningful to you, it should come across. Yeah, it should be from the heart, you know, that kind of thing. So, like I said, nothing bad. Everything is solid. There's just more that you can do. And, and you've got to put some of your personality into this to make yourself a better speaker. You're, you're doing a good job on everything, but you can, there's lots of room to grow. All right. Thank you.